All right, everybody, so I'm about to discuss another topic which I get a lot of questions on. Um, and just as a preface, um, some may consider this 18 plus, so if you are under that threshold um, and it may be inappropriate, um, just don't watch. Um, so I I have been open over the years uh, for quite a while now, actually. Oh my God, it's been a while. Um, about being diagnosed with HSV2, which is genital herpes. Um, and a lot of people are confused as to why I'd be so open about this. Um, but the reason is, is because... Um, you know, raising awareness and really kind of destigmatizing it and showing that these things bring the rates down. Um, so it's really beneficial. Not only that, I sometimes get comments about how like it pro I'm promoting STDs because, you know, I talk about like, you know, breaking down the stigma and how my life hasn't really been that horrible. Um, ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is going to get you, uh, right behind me in line for your Valtrex prescription. So that is why I keep talking about it because we need to raise awareness. Luckily, um, even before I started talking about it, there's tons of people that advocate, um, you know, on breaking the stigma of HSV2, genital herpes. Um, you know what I mean? And the reason I have to keep saying genital herpes is because people don't know what, people don't even know what HSV2 is. One time I disclosed to somebody, I said, I have HSV2. And then later on when I mentioned it saying genital herpes, they were like, <gasps> They didn't even- I'm like, what the fuck did you think HSV2 was? A fucking Honda model? What did you- Anyways, so yeah, that's why it's very important to speak out about it. Um, a lot of people ask me how I knew I had it. Um, when I had started medically transitioning and I went on testosterone, um, it triggered an outbreak and that's how I knew. Um, I likely had it for a long time without even knowing. Um, and so I had to like literally go back to any potential partner and disclose just in case. Fortunately, none of them um, contracted it from me, which I was very, you know, thankful for. Um, but, um, you know, that's why I, I constantly am talking about why it's important to protect yourself and also to kind of like just comfort other, because a lot of people come to me that just got diagnosed and they think their life is over. They think their life is over. And the thing is, is it's not like I thought my dating life because I'm tr I'm trans on top of it. So like I was like, oh, man, I'm never going to meet anyone. I dated both men and women before I met my husband. It was fine. I honestly had a f it was fine. It wasn't a bad experience for me. Now, I'm not saying don't protect yourself, obviously, but I'm saying your life isn't over after a diagnosis.